Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, it's been a while since the last time I uploaded an English video. Uh, my microphone got broken, but I got a new one, so hopefully there will be uh, more videos in the future. And hopefully more tutorials. So I've been working a lot with libgdx and recently with Node.js and the Socket.io module. So to begin with, I created a chatroom program. I'm using libgdx and Java for the client side and JavaScript for the server side, which is what works with Node.js. So it's pretty cool for networking and games and hopefully in the future I'll be able to implement uh, multiplayer games. So Socket.io allows uh, real-time communication so it suits uh, my needs for now because my next approach is going to be to create a multiplayer game so to begin with I need to run the server I'm on local host so just uh, here's my project a libgdx project and I have a folder for the server so I just need to open my shell here and call node server.js and it says uh, the server is running at port 3000 I have configured the client to connect to that port if I'm not mistaken right here on the local host of course so I just run I made it really simple I didn't add any details but too much details so it's just this uh, login form which just asks for the name let me run this a couple of times alright so I'm gonna enter my name this is just a single room chat room let's see someone there we go and anonymous <laughs> all right so I don't know this works pretty well let's see how is it going I don't need it added uh, to send the measures with the key enter key that's that's not e it's not hard to implement anyway this is a test for chat Haitian using my JS that's oh uh, I made so it's so the server outputs some information so here the server outputs the user that connect uh, I'm using a custom UE skin. Uh, it's not mine, so I'll leave this and the credits down below. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is really simple. I think it works pretty well. It will be cool if I can implement more things. Probably, uh, perhaps a database and all that stuff. But yeah, that's for the future consideration. So if I close the window, the other clients update its users list and the server outputs that the user disconnect. So I close the socket there. So yeah, that's it, I think. Uh, I haven't tested on any other platforms, although I I added Android and HTML platforms to the build. But I think it should work pretty fine, uh, pretty okay with the Android. But I'm not sure. Sh I'm not sure about HTML because GTW might be a little tricky. I'll have to look into it. And I think that's pretty much it. If you want source code, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll upload it because I'm really lazy. So, 
I just need one request to upload it. Uh, it's pretty ugly actually and not too complicated so hopefully someone wants to improve this so that's it two videos in a week uh, hope you guys like it and see you next time